Well, welcome back everybody to another episode of Automotive Drama. Uh, like always, my friends, I'll keep the preamble short. Likes are nice, scribes are better. Questions, comments, please feel free. Uh, and ring the bell if you want to watch more videos. Now, today, I still have this overweight Suzuki Samurai that I've been calling a sumo wrestler. That's a Suzuki Grand Vitara with a V6. Actually, really impressive little truck. I was putting a valve cover on today, and if it had another cylinder on it, I would have thought I was putting a valve cover on my Jixxer. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me again. Now, <clears throat> let me show you how to get this rack out. <coughs> Excuse me. Do you see that little bitty dot right there on that rack and pinion? This is key one. I'll show you the other things in a minute. Um, you better know where that's at when you take this thing apart. You're going to spend all day putting it back together. Now you can see I also have another mark right there. I don't know if you can, the camera can see it. I have to move it right there. That is lines up to that little pin okay and let me show you most most rack and pinions have a slot in it this one don't it's completely round so that means this thing will go on 80 degrees out 180 degrees out 60 degrees out uh, or even a tooth or two which would be like one or two teeth or one or two degrees per tooth somewhere around there I have to say so, if you don't mark that, as you can see, I've already lined this one up and made myself some marks so I know when I put it back together right where to put it. Um, if you don't do that, you're going to have a lot of fun getting this thing back together. And this rack's really nice. It came completely loaded. Uh, he's getting me bushings. It didn't come with that part of it. It wasn't loaded that much. Now, you see those lines? Good luck getting those off. You see how I have the rack and pinion hanging on a, on a floor jack and I got it tied back with a, a bungee cord? That's so I could get those lines loose. Now, I used uh, my impact gun and a 19 millimeter swivel socket to get them loose and then ran them out by hand. I let it drain out in the little pan over there. Uh, I, you know, that was, that's going to be one of the last things you want to do unless you want uh, oil dripping in your face all day. Of course you got to loosen the tie rod ends take the tires off but uh that was really the main thing i wanted to show you there's only four bolts that hold it on but to get those lines loose you ain't getting to them from the front side they are dead up against this frame right here and trust me you ain't getting in there <laughs> that was the simplest way to do it and when you put it back in they'll be hanging there so you can I mean, this one's ready to come out. I left it in so I could kind of show you. But, you know, and uh, take the lines off. And when you go to put it back together, it'll be, you can line up, put the tie rod ends in first, put it right back just like how I had it. Uh, you might want to put the lines on when you get it lined up in there so they don't drip on you. And then make sure that you have that mark that I put on there dead lined up with that hole. And that little mark right in there. I didn't put a white one on that one because I marked it before I took it off, so I had a reference point, but because uh, I wasn't sure where that dot was going to be. I got lucky and it was facing right at me. And to get that knuckle off, just tap it with a pry bar and a hammer. Dunk, dunk, dunk. You don't want to take it all the way off as soon as you start getting to where that beats here over here. And start tapping it off as soon as you start getting to this start going slow so you can find that pin and you'll see that pinhole there it is right there there's two of them actually so also make sure your rack and pinion see how this boots already stretched out and that boots already turned in uh, I don't I have to you know when I put it in you're gonna have to straighten that out but then I just marked that one this one actually has two, so I didn't see if the other one has two yet. I didn't even see that. I just marked one. Uh, but either way, they're 180 out. So wherever this comes out, that mark that I put on the steering knuckle has to line up with one of these pins. Or you'll have this rack and pinion a degree or two off on the steering, and the alignment guy's going to love you trying to align it. 
Anyways, thanks again for tuning in, and stay tuned for more episodes of Automotive Drama. Have a good night.